saw that the bird, hey Todd, I got one little tidbit because I just started a new chapter that neoliberalism was born in the country of Chile and I, I can't remember what the event was, I think it was in the 70s, but I think you might be t touching upon neoliberalism. Neoliberalism and the history of American nationalism and all the garbage that's come out of this country. Take three, Dan, take it away. Who are we talking to? Poker Dice Lady? Or? The most accurate term you could use to describe a government protecting people's freedom from Adam and Eve to the present is Americanism. Hey! Republicans, the socialists that are in the closet, or what? No, the Democrats more of socialists. They're the ones like all. Oh, well, they're they're know. they're the they're the ones that are open about it. But you said there's some that keep it secret. Huh? I thought, I thought you mentioned there's closet socialists. They're closet socialists, yeah. Well, the Democrats yeah. aren't closet socialists. They're openly socialists. Then it must be the Republicans. Anyone that wants, anyone that wants to get a paycheck for doing nothing is a socialist. Well, then the Republicans are closet socialists. What? I said the Republicans are closet socialists. <laughs> Gosh, you made me cough. Tell you the truth, both of them are socialists, but we won't get into that. And of course, as it was with the cowardly neutrals in colonial times, too, Americans <laughs> recognize their true identity are conscious of who they are and of the fact that they prefer to be neutral, strongly to uh, try to justify that neutrality. Marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, marshmallows where their guts should be. And they represent approximately 90% of our population. <laughs> they prefer to sit on the fence or stay in the middle of this road. Few Americans need to be reminded that there are only two things in the middle of the road. Yellow lines and dead skunks. Good the roaders get hit by traffic from both sides and deserve it for staying in the middle. It's interesting to note that the real Americans recognize who the Socialist Americans are that the Socialist Americans recognize who the real Americans are. Oh my gosh, you're talking in circles. Please stop. Who the pseudo Americans are, but that the pseudo Americans can't recognize you're talking who in the circles. Americans are, and the Socialist Americans are, and sometimes the pseudo Americans even find it difficult to recognize their own assholes. <laughs> As it was with the rebels in colonial times, today the real Americans fighting for freedom respect the real Americans fighting for slavery. The only way to live is sinful. You're supposed to just let yourself die, apparently. 
we done yet? <coughs> I said, <coughs> if the I'll only way to live is one. sinful, then you're just supposed to let yourself die instead of do the sin, so. What's sinful? If what? marijuana. <coughs> marijuana is sinful. Marijuana simple? Yeah, you're, you're a <laughs> well, I was Well, I was just supposed to stop smoking and let myself die like six months ago, and I've been living in sin for six months because I wanted to keep living. According to Andy Dabo, you're living in... Just because I want to stay alive is no excuse to sin. Anyway. I think I made my point. Did I ruin your high? Maybe if you're in camera or class, that's good. That's good, though. This just don't mean shit to me anymore. What? I was reading your mind. You're like, this shit don't mean shit to me anymore. (laughs) This shit don't mean shit. (laughs) It is about shit, isn't it? Well, I mean, it is the history of American nationalism, and we were told some they version of it. We should, share, we should share our version of American nationalism. They should have put on a fucking